awesome. Yeah. Awesome, yeah. But hey, you know what? We might not have watched a lot, but I think we did. Like I said, you mentioned we did buy a few things. Got a couple things. Yeah, I got, I, I got a very modest two things, but one of the things you also have. So yes. nothing crazy. But Jay, I'm looking at the list you sent me. Uh-huh. And you have you have something on there that I'm almost annoyed about. So I just want you to Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and start showing some stuff? Okay. So um the first thing I got, um, I've had before and I sold it and I got it back because um the box art is done by the great Bob Eggleton and I want him to sign it at Kaiju Go. Um yes. and I and I love this piece. And so I ended up rebuying for I don't know, like a third time. Um them okay, one tricycle. Craig. I know, right? I, I totally. This is one. I'm definitely in that. Um, this is uh, this is my Star Wars Black series. Um, the Matongo Halloween variant M1 tricycle. There he is. Look at him right there. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. And then, of course, I was like, I got the box art for Bob Eggleton to sign. And guess what? I don't have with me right now the box art. You don't have but it. it's amazing. It's beautiful. <laughs> um, and I I love his his interpretation of Matongo. Uh, yeah. And Matongo in Halloween form on a tricycle even better. Um, yeah. but yeah, so that was the first pickup. I'm super excited, um, to get that signed. So the next two, uh, well, I really, I'll do one because we will kind of do the, the other one together because okay. we both sure. got it. But, um, sure. I only have one other pickup outside of that one. And this is, you know, we in, in the winter, excuse me, the Wonderfest winter edition back in Jan Feb, uh, Neil player one, uh, came out with a bang with a couple of those like Godzilla 64s or one Godzilla 64, the blue one, uh, mm -hmm. and then a header up. I still haven't been able to get the blue one. I mean, it, the last one I saw that went in an auction went for over twelve hundred dollars. Um, and it's just insane. Ooh. Like I just and the funny thing is, is that's not even the most expensive Neo player one because they have the ninety five lottery when they did it winter. Excuse me. At Wonderfest summer. Uh, and that one's like eighteen hundred bucks to get it. Um, and but. Not cheap, but not that expensive. Um, Neo Player One, they did do another colorway of the 64 because that 64 is so fun and so whimsical, and I love the blue. But this other colorway wasn't bad. Like, I like it a ton. It's it's kind of 1B to, uh, if the blue's 1A. And so I did pick up the pink 64 Neo Player One with Yay. a little Mothra larva on his tail here, there. Um, Just give me that. <laughs> it's so good. Um, it is. Um, it's excellent in person. I absolutely adore this piece. I, like I said, I love the, the pink colorway. Um, yeah. Don't get me wrong, but it is. Uh, it's the sculpt is really what makes it. He's just. It's that right balance of silly and cartoon. It's like if lit lit Goji grew up and became Safubi, right? It would be somewhere around this, right? It looks like Godzilla. Uh, yeah, no, right? It, it could be totally. Uh, and then like the little mother larva hooked on its tail. Um, Neo Player One does some really cool stuff. Their Baltons are awesome, uh, and you can get those for a really affordable price. Um, At Toku Toy Town. No, yeah, I have some, but even <laughs> there's places I even have them better prices than me. So uh, it's um, I won't tell you their names on here though. But uh, but there's some places that you can get those for, like I said, relatively good prices. Like obviously it's still expensive. Yeah. Um, but those ninety fives, those lottery ones. I mean, it just stinks like. Those could be that's, figures of a decade, and nobody's ever going to have one here. They, that's what makes me annoyed. These guys are trying, like, really, like on one hand, these guys are trying really hard to win Toy Line of the Year, you know, on the Jeffries. But the fact that those Destroya figures, those, they're so hard to come by. Yeah. And man, what I didn't realize about them. I saw some videos over the week. You know, Christine got yep, that. She, she was like gifted one. And uh, the videos of her with it, I didn't realize how big those figures are. They're huge. Big. Yeah. They are very yeah. big. That is one of the best looking figures I've ever seen. That, yep. those are beautiful. And I'm never yep. going to have one. Yep. Same. Um, and that's a bummer because they are gorgeous. That is. Yeah. That is one of the one of, that is one of the few real problems in my life right now that I'm not ever going to have one of those toys. <laughs> it's they're bad, great. man. That's it's a beautiful bad. toy. Everything they do, they their their sculpting is is top notch. It's good stuff. And some of their other non Godzilla and Ultraman stuff that I've seen that I'm not familiar with the properties or their custom uh, or original work are just as good. Like they're yeah. they're really awesome. Like they do good stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean the the Balton's like 13 inches tall. I think that one's over a foot tall. The 95 and then 
uh, this guy, you know, he's about eight inches, seven, eight inches uh, tall. Like it's, they're, they're really cool. Um, yeah. And I, and I think the, the 64 of this is still, I think one of the coolest pieces that I, I've seen on, on top of obviously the 94s, or excuse me, the mm -hmm. 95s. Um, I was looking at space Godzilla over here and I was like 94. Um, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so that's it. Other than, other than the one that we, we both share. Cool. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll go for it. We both got in, uh, you know, the trendy, I don't think we're allowed to say trend masters. Um, <laughs> The trendy version of Mondo's Space Godzilla um, sculpted by Hector over there. Man, this thing, this is one of the best things I've bought in a long time. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I knew ahead of time that I really wanted uh, the Trend Masters version of this thing. And I don't, I don't know what to say. Like... Yeah. This is beautiful. I took some pictures of this uh, alongside the original uh, Trendmaster Space Godzilla. Really good photos, And by the, the way. colors are fucking spot on. This is beautiful, man. Like I, I said it before, Space Godzilla doesn't have a lot of Safubi out there. Um, it Until seems like that year. might be changing. Yeah, it seems like yep. that's changing. But more, more to come later on that. There's never <laughs> been a ton of it. And just this is beautiful. This is like a chunky little. This is like this is a perfect toy. This, yeah. this is beautiful. I love this chair. What What do you think of this? This is the only um, one you have of the Space Godzilla. Yes, yeah. yeah. I, I'm going the one the one color variant per Mondo release, and this is the one uh, I was I was gonna do for um for Space Godzilla, no matter what, because you know I love the I love the original uh, Trendmasters colorway. I know it's based off the poster, the Noriyoshi poster. Um, and this takes it to a different level. And, you know, I, I've been critical early on of Mondo about the, about the Godzilla 84 and the, how it was like, it didn't have capture the, you know, it didn't capture the kind of, I think the, the vibe of Safubi, right? I don't think it, yeah. it was like, it wasn't, it just didn't have the, it, the header was like trying to be whimsical, but like, I just, I didn't care for that sculpt very much, but the 84, you know, like it just, to me, it was like, ah, uh, and the scaling was weird. Then the Biolante came out and it's big and it's beautiful, but still like, it didn't give me like Safubi vibes. I think the Rodan that is coming out might be my favorite sculpt that I've seen of any of them. I think the most Safubi eyes, but this one might be my favorite piece. When you factor in sculpt, when you factor in size and, paint job and then what it yeah. represents and what it's you know like how it how it you know harkens back to to the the toy and the poster and everything like this is i'm not gonna say it because we don't make the decisions now but this has to be on the short list for a kaiju toy of the year and this toy alone i think can propel mondo back into the running for kaiju toy line of the year and i don't have a say in it but i think this guy could sit up there with all the toys that you guys are discussing just for toy of the year with yeah. the rest of the Jeffries and hold its own. I think it's that good. Absolutely. Kudos to Hector. Kudos to Mondo. Um, I absolutely love, 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 love this piece. And I'm saying this in the same week that I got what I think is one of the best sculpts I've ever seen on any Safubi item in Godzilla in this Neo Player one. So uh, small but yeah. mighty here, like only two pickups, but these two are amazing. I, I just love this. Uh, home run. A plus. 10 out of 10. Yes. Yeah. Mondo Mondo's really killing it, man. And uh, and you know, I do agree some of the early like the the guy I didn't get any of the Godzilla 84s. Like I liked it, but I was like, um, oh, I just not enough to not enough when there's a ton of shit out and I'm gonna spend yeah. money. So but I feel like every release is better and better. And then it's like everybody else that they have sculpting as well is like every it's just everything's insane. You know, yeah. the the attack Peter stuff, the Groman uh uh the, mm -hmm. the Godzilla that's coming out. It's just all the urban Aztec. Yeah. It's all mind blowing to me. So, but yeah, space Godzilla it's that's where it's at, man. I love it. I have one question on, on, on the Mondo line for you. And this is sure. one that I think I've, I was talking to, uh, to our good buddy, Michael Lynch and you know, he's a designer toy connoisseur and uh, knows lots of it. And he, and he brought up one thing on Mondo and I agree with him. And cause I, I think this has been one of the, one of the reasons why I like almost like viewing the Mondo stuff in a vacuum, like this one toy as opposed to their entire line, is the scaling is so wacky. Like it's, uh, I mean, like this, you know, Space Godzilla is this big. Jet Jaguar yeah. is like this big. Bailante is this big. 
uh, which right. I know she's that big anyway. The Godzilla is small, but, you know, and it's like I feel like they're they're connected because they are soft final. Um, yeah. They're connected because they're all Godzilla properties. I don't feel like I, whereas like if you look at like I'm you know Morrison's 350 line or whatever, they're all kind of roughly in scale. Um, I'm not I don't care about that, but I'm saying like when you look at the cohesiveness of a line, the cohesion of a line, I think that does hurt them a little bit. I'm glad if they went over the top large on one of them it was with space godzilla because it's the best one yeah but yeah that was i was it was i never thought of that because like they are i didn't very different scale i haven't either but i've also like i feel like with safubi it's easier to not for me it's easier to yeah. not care about because it's already crazy looking anyway and the sculpts and colors are so weird that it's like who cares if it's not in scale yeah. look at it it's like it's cherry blossom color so yeah. i've never cared about the scale but i do you know, I don't have the Godzilla, so I don't really know how the Godzilla scales up. The Biolante is huge. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. That just doesn't bother me. The scale thing doesn't bother me. Yeah. I'm not getting them all anyway. You know what I mean? I'm, yeah. I'm picking and choosing. So, yeah, I don't know. Never thought anyway. about that. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, but everybody, go out, get this toy, do whatever you got to do to get it. I, I just, like I said, if we aren't talking about him on the Jeffries, I will be shocked. I will be shocked. It's happening. He's going yeah. on Jeffries. Yeah. It's going to be really hard when the Jeffries come up. Me too. Me too. <laughs> it's going to be hard when the Jeffries come up trying to figure out, like, if we do, you know, Toy of the Year and and, and we want to, and Amondo pieces on there, picking one, like, that's hard. Yeah. Because, like, this yeah. is amazing, but, like, is is Attack Peter's Mecha Godzilla coming out this year? I kind of hope it's not being released this yeah. year. Because I don't know if I could pick between his Mecha Godzilla and this. That might have to Ooh, let that Mecha Godzilla release next year. So that could be yeah. a next year's Jeffries thing. I don't know, yeah. man. There's just too much. Um, yeah, for sure. Uh, you get you. That's it for you. You got nothing else that's it for me. Those? That's it for me. I got one other thing, and I honestly I got this a couple of weeks ago and completely forgot about it. Forgot to show it off. Um, a client and a friend of mine who uh, he came down. Drove down to get a tattoo for me, brought me a gift, and um, I was shocked when I saw this, Jay. Brought me a, a vintage, oh. a vintage Godzilla versus Charles Barkley Whoa. t-shirt. I have looked for these in the past. They're usually either hard a to lot. get or expensive. Yeah, so... And he's a vintage, he's a vintage clothing guy. Like, he buys yeah. and sells. Like, that's his thing. He also, speaking of vintage, he also brought me this the first time I tattooed him, the Taco Bell Godzilla vintage shirt that I'm wearing currently. I also wanted to wear this because I thought these two things fit in with our topic tonight. Just, yes. Uh, as, oh, a teaser, totally. as a teaser, is a teaser, two weird Godzilla oh, things. That and exist, you know what? So. It's kind of funny. It's like you say that, but then like, I'm looking like, I, I think this, like, this is weird and wacky. I mean, like, you know, like, uh, I mean. It's, it's a Matongo no done as, as a Halloween on a tricycle. But I, and I think that's what's fun about the topic tonight when we get to it is like there are so many things that just we just get comfortable and used to in our wacky subgenre yeah. of Safubi and Kaiju collecting that like weird. Everything's a little weird. <laughs> you know, well, thing, wacky. <laughs> I mean, that Matongo on the tricycle, like it's very weird. And if yeah. you if you mention that to anybody. Everybody knows who Godzilla is. And if you show yeah. them a Godzilla toy, they're like, oh, cool. That's a Godzilla toy. If you show a random normal person that Matongo on a tricycle with a yeah. and try to explain, oh, it's a Halloween version of Matongo, <laughs> which is a mushroom man. But we're giving him a jack-o'-lantern face and he's riding a tricycle. Someone's going to laugh at you. You're going to get picked on. So yes. um, that, that does qualify as weird. 